Hey guys, quick review of a new torque wrench I picked up. I needed something smaller to do smaller jobs like replacing spark plugs or doing your brake caliper bolts over here, stuff like that. Um, I have a full size one, which is just too long to get in there. So this was a nice deal on Amazon. Uh, I'll put a link below so you can check it out yourself. Uh, basically, this one is uh, rated uh, 6 to 46 foot pounds. So not for any big jobs like doing your wheels, stuff like that, but for spark plugs and for small applications, working your motorcycle and car, this is great. Uh, it's actually a whole kit. So you get the torque wrench, you get extension bar, uh, the rotating uh, piece, you know, if you need angles, and also two uh, sockets for uh, spark plugs which is a nice little plus if you don't own one, uh, directions and so on. But let me show you guys how to use this. Uh... So just to show you guys the size difference in the torque wrenches, the 46 pounder and the 150 pounder, meaning for torquing up, uh, bolts up to 150 pounds. Um, also the head is removable here, uh, which means you can exchange it uh, to different bits. They don't come with the kit, but I guess you can obtain it, which is pretty cool. Um, and what you use this, like any torque wrench, uh, for, first of all, for storage, it should always be stored back to the lowest setting or zero. Uh, but this one, you don't unscrew anything on the bottom. Uh, you just pull this down and you rotate it to whatever setting you need. So in this case, I need to uh, tighten down my caliper bolts to 23 foot pounds. So I'm going to keep going till I find the 22 mark over here. Readjust for you guys so you can see what I'm actually doing. So like I said, uh, every time you pull this down you can rotate it if it's not you can't but I'm going to the 23 pounds so once I hit 22 right now I'm at 22 I'm gonna go one more pound and now I got my 23 foot pounds and once you let this go this is locked so it will not move so now I can snap on my socket and tighten the bolt down uh, one reminder about torque wrenches this is not uh, for uh, used as a breaker bar uh, don't be tempted just because it's a long heavy duty wrench uh, it's not for unscrewing heavy screws uh, this is stri strictly for torquing to a specific foot pounds uh, otherwise you will damage the mechanism and it will not be uh, working properly and this is a 3 8 model just if I didn't mention all right, so we're gonna get a socket and to put it on, you push this button here. Um, this is basically to install it and release it. Push it, install, once you, it's locked in there, this will not come out. Uh, to release it, you gotta push the button again, and then it comes off, so that's an awesome little feature. Uh, in our case, I am gonna use a little extension here to get back there just to make my job easier. I'm not doing a very specific torque setting here, so it's not a big deal, but normally you don't really wanna use extensions when torquing things down. So I'm going to make sure I'm flipped to the right side and I set my torque to 23 foot pounds and now I'm just gonna torque this down so you keep going till you, till you basically hear a click and there it is as you see if I pull got my click so I'm at the correct setting I like to go a little extra myself especially when doing brakes and that's it our brakes are torqued down um, I'll show you guys a couple of other ways you can use this and uh, yeah so guys, same idea with, for example, replacing spark plugs on your motorcycle. The extension is, and the swivelly part is where it really comes in handy. Set your torque setting, get in there, wait for the click. And there you go, my spark plugs are tightened. Um, very easy to use. Push the button, snap it off. And that's it guys. Thank you for watching. I hope this is helpful to you. Um, hope you guys some tips, you know, how to torque things and a review of the syringe. Uh, I'll put a link below to it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more and give me a thumbs up if you like this.